What's up, Plowcasters and Plowcastettes? It's your two favorite Star Wars fans, Evan and Paul, coming at you with another trailer. Uh, it was Disney Day or some stuff like that on Friday, I don't know. But all I do know is that there's more Star Wars, which is what we care about. Um, and Andor, season one, first three episodes drop in on September 21st. And, and they got a little trailer for us, so we're gonna go ahead and react. Make sure to check out other trailers from Friday, Tales of the Jedi and Mandalorian season three. We're back, by the way. We uh, yes. took a little break. I don't know if you saw, chances are the Mando trailer is probably already up at this point. So if you didn't see that one, go check that out. Uh, we're, we're kind of, we're back a little bit, you know? I think that's pretty much it. So Andor official trailer. Let's mm. do it. Three, two, go. <laughs> okay. Doc, you nice. can get me. <laughs> Did you get oh, it? Yeah. Hey, Mothma. Like assassins. Hey, Saw. Oh, let's go. He's in everything. Mr. Guerrero. Oh. Cassian Ander. Don't That's his name. Tell me or tell Look yourself. at that. Oh, yeah. these Pretty settings. Oh, language guy. Wouldn't you rather give it all at once? Hey, that's uh, Stellan Skarsgård. We've chosen a side. We're fighting against the dark. Yeah. There is an organized rebel effort. Ooh. Drill down and get a. I love the aesthetic of this. Hey, her, she's pretty. Look at these forms. Oh, clones. At what cost? Everything. Ooh, baby. Every day we wait. There's that shot from the other trailer. They okay. Get stronger. Oh. Let's take them by surprise. Oh, yep. There they are. Oh, yep. oh it looks cool. soft. War. War. Ooh. Oh, terrorism. Yeah. Right but in space. That imperial officer seems like she's going to be fair. Whoa, look at the colors in that. Star Wars oh. Andor, three episode premieres. <laughs> wow. I was not ready for that narrator. <laughs> yeah, he came out of left field. Dude, <laughs> there's that, a lot happening. Right, but also, like, I have no idea what hmm. the story's going to be. Other than, like, Empire versus capacity. We're going to get some, some rebellions. Yeah, I... I don't know. I'm really hyped for that. I really like the aesthetic of this and, like, the, the color palettes and the locations... Um, yes, yes. Yeah. OT cool. vibes. Right, yeah. We have clones and stormtroopers. There was that one shot towards the end of that explosion in space with like the... Oh, yeah. 122. That shot looks really cool. The clouds and the colors in that looks awesome. I just love the look. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Surprisingly hyped for this show. Like, <laughs> more than... Like, more than if you had just told me there's just going to be a casting and or show. I'd be like, oh, okay. But this, like... This looks like a like a show show. Like this doesn't look like a Star Wars show. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? This is yeah. like, this looks like an actual like show. <laughs> I don't know, like this at uh, twenty seconds, this like foundry he's working at, and it could be like a scrapyard or something that he's just walking through. Um we get to see a little bit more of Mon Mothma as well, which is really cool because I yeah. thought she was a pretty interesting character. Um we had that shot of like the, the Senate, that was awesome. Um tie fighters classic stuff this just looks like this just looks solid it looks like a lot of new characters yeah. mixed with a lot of returning characters i like that. which sounds dope <laughs> yeah. i mean we got saw like you said mon Moth mothma cassian andor um all these death troopers the clone troopers initial reactions look really cool it looks like a lot of different set pieces well that'd be cool anyway because if it's like stormtrooper training or stuff like that I i'd want to see yeah, it Maybe they they start out doing stormtrooper training like clone trooper training, mm -hmm. so it's like they could try to mimic it. Well, we know commandos used to were were teaching your teachers right at the beginning. Yup, shout out my guy uh, Gregor. Gregor, um, what was the uh, Delta Squad one? Scorch. Scorch. Yeah. Yeah, my boy. All right. Um, what's your biggest takeaway? What's your biggest biggest takeaway, takeaway is just. Um, like, it's not like a specific, like in other trailers, you'd be, oh, this character's coming back, or this X thing is in it, or like, mm -hmm. we're on Mandalore, like, Bo Katan's back. This one is just like, I don't know, it just looks good. Like, it looks like a solid TV show, like, not even like Star Wars related. Like, I feel like this is gonna be something that people could just watch 
um, without even yeah. ha like knowing much of anything. Um, it seems like just like a cool Star Wars story, and it doesn't seem like they're trying to jam too much down our throats yet. Um, it doesn't seem that they're like doing nostalgia bait because it seems like a lot of the planets are new, a lot of a lot of the characters are new, um, the settings, locations, a lot of that seems new, but with obviously stuff you have to include like stormtroopers and the Empire and all that, but um, but also with some added stuff for characters we already like, like we knew it was, obviously it's a Cassian Andor show, uh, Mon Mothma is going to be in it, so you know I, there's going to have some characters in there that that we know already, but yeah, like the biggest thing would just be like. I don't know. I'm just. I just really like the looks of this so far. Absolutely. I one of the one of the coolest things about Mando um, season one was how quickly it became so popular that like like my mom knows what what, what it is like yeah. <laughs> like it reached so many so many different audiences other than just Star Wars fans. Um, yeah. Now it's kind of leaning a lot into the Star Wars mythology, which I mean I love because I like Star Wars. Right. But if there's a show like this where there's no Luke Skywalker in here, you know. The the closest thing we have is Saul Guerrero, who's like, if you're not a diehard, you probably don't know who that is. Um, yeah. I'm kind of for that. I'm kind of for like like you said, just a Star Wars story, just a cool show that takes place within Star Wars, as opposed to like, oh, what's Luke Skywalker up to? Because we're kind of getting that. So I, I think and and a spoof. You know, I love the original trilogy, bro. So. And this isn't even it's 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 on the border, so we're getting yeah. some of those clones in there too. Oh, yeah, it's kind I think of this has end, this end, has a lot of potential. Too. Like the end yeah of, yeah that vibe, where it's just like a little bit of both. I really like that vibe. Oh yeah, uh, yeah I remember we this was our sleeper pick. Dude. Yeah, back yeah. when they announced it, we we're like, dude, I feel like this could be good, yeah. and for like no reason. So far, yeah, so yeah. far it's looking like it's gonna. Oof, I can't wait. And it's coming out soon. Yeah, that's Hopefully. the next thing. So we'll, we'll yeah. be. Uh, making videos on that um i don't know necessarily how on time they will be but they will they'll be out you know they'll, we'll we'll get them <laughs> yeah, we'll get them to you you know we come back every time there's like a new thing and then we kind of fall off a little bit so yeah this is sort of the ramp up back into that so hope you guys are hyped hope you're excited uh let us know what your thoughts are for this trailer down below and what you're excited for for the show in general because uh, it looks like it could be pretty good uh, it's the sleeper pick, you know, so it could, could be could be little mm. song, song. But yeah, that's going to do it for us. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure you check out the other trailer reactions, and we'll talk to you in the next video. Goodbye. Oh, I had to burp that whole time.